Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Ocnick's YouTube channel. In this video, we will divide polynomials using the synthetic division. Let's have first a review on the division of polynomials using long division. Find the quotient and the remainder when x cubed minus 2x squared minus 7 is divided by x minus 3. Let us first arrange the dividend in a descending order. So we will then have x cubed minus 2x squared plus 0x minus 7 divided by x minus 3. Divide x cubed by x, that is equal to x squared. x squared times x minus 3 is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared. Subtract the terms, that is equal to 0, and positive x squared. Bring down the remaining terms. x squared divided by x is equal to positive x. Multiply x to x minus 3, that is equal to x squared minus 3x. Subtract the terms, that is equal to 0, and positive 3x. Bring down negative 7. 3x divided by x is equal to 3. Multiply 3 to x minus 3, that is equal to 3x minus 9. Subtract the terms, that is equal to 0, and positive 2. Therefore, our remainder is equal to 2. Therefore, the quotient is x squared plus x plus 3 plus 2 all over x minus 3. Let us now discuss synthetic division. Synthetic division is a shorthand or shortcut method of polynomial division in the special case of dividing by a linear factor. Synthetic division is generally used, however, not for dividing out factors but for finding zeros or roots of polynomials. Here are the steps in dividing polynomials using synthetic division. Step number one, arrange the dividend in descending power of x. Use zero to fill any missing term. Number two, set up the synthetic division. Make three rows of numbers with small box on the upper corner. Step three, on the first row, write all the numerical coefficients of every term in the dividend. Step four, Equate the divisor to 0 and solve for x to get the synthetic divisor and put it on the box then bring down the first number in first row to second to third row. Step number 5. Multiply the number in the box to the number you brought down and then put the product on the next column. Add the two numbers, second column, and write the result in the bottom of the row. Step number 7. Repeat steps 5 and 6 until you reach the end of the problem. And lastly, write the final answer. The final answer is made up of the numbers in the third row with the last number being the remainder. The variables or x's start of one power less than the original dividend and go down one width. Find the quotient and the remainder when x cubed minus 4x squared minus 4x is divided by x minus 2. So we need first to arrange the dividend in descending order. We have x cubed minus 4x squared plus 0x minus 4. The numerical coefficients of the dividend are 1, negative 4, 0, and negative 4. Equate the divisor to 0, so that is equal to x minus 2 equals 0, that is equal to x equals 2. Therefore, 2 will be our multiplier. Bring down 1, multiply 1 to 2, that is equal to 2, and add 2 to negative 4. That's 2 plus negative 4 equals negative 2. Negative 2 times 2, that is equal to negative 4. Negative 4 plus 0, that is equal to negative 4. Negative 4 plus 2 times 2 is equal to negative 8. Negative 8 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 12. Take note that the last number will be the remainder. And the quotient is 1 degree lower than the dividend. 
the numbers represent the numerical coefficients of the quotient. Therefore, the answer is x squared minus 2x minus 4 minus 12 all over x minus 2. Find the quotient and the remainder when 5x squared minus 4x minus 4 is divided by x plus 2. So our dividend is equal to 5x squared minus 4x minus 4. The numerical coefficients are 5, negative 4, and negative 4. Equating the divisor in terms of 0, that will be x plus 2 equals 0, which is equal to x equals negative 2. Negative 2 now will be our multiplier. Bring down the first number, which is equal to 5. 5 times negative 2 is equal to negative 10. Negative 10 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 14. Negative 14 times negative 2 is equal to positive 28. And 28 plus negative 4 is equal to positive 24. 24 will be our remainder. Take note that the quotient is 1 degree lower than the dividend. And the numbers represent the numerical coefficients of the quotient. Therefore, the answer is 5x minus 14 plus 24 all over x plus 2. Find the quotient of x squared plus 4x cubed minus 3x minus 30 over x minus 2. Arrange first the dividend that is equal to 4x cubed plus x squared minus 3x minus 30. The numerical coefficients of the dividend are 4, 1, negative 3, and negative 30. Equate the divisor in terms of 0. So that is x minus 2 equals 0. x is equal to 2. Therefore, 2 will be our multiplier. Bring down 4. 4 times 2, that is equal to 8. 8 plus 1 equals 9. 9 times 2 equals 18. 18 plus negative 3 equals 15. 15 times 2 is equal to positive 30. 30 plus negative 30 is equal to 0. In this case, we don't have any remainder because the last number is equal to 0. Again, remember that the quotient is 1 degree lower than the dividend. Therefore, the answer would be 4x squared plus 9x plus 15. Find the quotient of 2x to the 4th plus 3x cubed minus 10x squared plus 8 divided by 2x minus 1. Let us first arrange the dividend in descending order. So we have 2x to the 4th plus 3x cubed minus 10x squared plus 0x plus 8. The numerical coefficients are 2, 3, negative 10, 0, and 8. Equate the divisor in terms of 0. That is equal to 2x minus 1 equals 0. 2x is equal to 1. And x is equal to 1 half. Therefore, 1 half will be our multiplier. Bring down the first number which is equal to 2. 2 times 1 half is equal to 1. 1 plus 3 equals 4. 4 times 1 half equals 2. 2 plus negative 10 equals negative 8. Negative 8 times 1 half is equal to negative 4. Negative 4 plus 0 equals negative 4. And negative 4 times 1 half is equal to negative 2. Negative 2 plus 8 equals positive 6. Since 6 is the last number, 6 is our remainder. Again, always remember that the quotient is 1 degree lower than the dividend. And the Numbers represent the numerical coefficient of our quotient. Therefore, the answer is 2x cubed minus 4x squared minus 8x minus 4 plus 6 all over 2x minus 1. 
divide 2x cubed minus 4x minus 8 by x minus 2. Let us first arrange the dividend in descending order. We have 2x cubed plus 0x squared minus 4x minus 8. The numerical coefficients of our dividend are 2, 0, negative 4, and negative 8. Let us now equate our divisor in terms of 0. That is equal to x minus 2 equals 0, or simply x equals to 2. Therefore, 2 will now be our multiplier. Bring down the first number, which is equal to 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 plus 0 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. 8 plus negative 4 is equal to 4. And 4 times 2 equals positive 8. 8 plus negative 8 is equal to 0. Since the last number is 0, therefore, we don't have any remainder. Again, always remember that the quotient is 1 degree lower than our dividend. And these numbers represent the numerical coefficient of our quotient. Therefore, the answer would be 2x squared plus 4x plus 4. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. The steps in dividing polynomials using synthetic vision are Number 1. Arrange the dividend in descending power of x and use 0 to fill any missing term. Set up the synthetic division and make 3 rows of numbers with small box on the upper corner. On the first row, write all the numerical coefficients of every term in the dividend. Equate the divisor to 0 and solve for x to get the synthetic divisor and put it on the box. Then bring down the first number in the first row to third column, to third row. Step number 5. Multiply the number in the box to the number you brought down and then put the product on the next column, which is the second row. Add the two numbers on the second column and write the result in the bottom of the row. Repeat steps 5 and 6 until you reach the end of the problem. And most importantly, write the final answer. The final answer is made up of the numbers in the third row with the last number being the remainder. The variable or x start of 1 power less than the original dividend and go down 1 with. Let us now check your knowledge. Divide the following polynomials using synthetic division. Do not forget to pause this video while you are doing this activity. Let us now discuss your answers. Divide x cubed minus 8 by x plus 3. Arrange the dividend in descending order so we have x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 8. The numerical coefficients of the dividend are 1, 0, 0, and negative 8. Equate the divisor in terms of 0, that will be x plus 3 equals 0, which is equal to x equals negative 3. Therefore, negative 3 will be our multiplier. Bring down the first number, which is equal to 1. 1 times negative 3 is equal to negative 3. Negative 3 plus 0 equals negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 equals 9. 9 plus 0 equals 9. 9 times negative 3 equals negative 27. And negative 27 plus negative 8 is equal to negative 35. That means that negative 35 is our remainder since negative 35 is the last number. Again, always remember that the quotient is 1 degree lower than our dividend. And these numbers represent the numerical coefficients of our quotient. Therefore, our answer would be x squared minus 3x plus 9 minus 35 all over x plus 3. What is the quotient of 3x squared plus 4x to the 4 plus 1 divided by x plus 1? Arrange the dividend in descending order that is 4x to the 4 plus 0x cubed plus 3x squared plus 0x plus 1. The numerical coefficients 
of the dividend are 4, 0, 3, 0, and 1. Equate the divisor in terms of 0, so that is x plus 1 equals 0, which is equal to x equals negative 1. That means that negative 1 will be our multiplier. Bring down the first numerical coefficient, which is equal to 4. 4 times negative 1, that is equal to negative 4, plus 0, that is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 1, that is equal to 4. 4 plus 3, that is equal to 7. 7 times negative 1 equals negative 7. Negative 7 plus 0 equals negative 7. And negative 7 times negative 1, that is equal to positive 7. 7 plus 1, that is equal to 8. Therefore, 8 will be our remainder since that is the last digit in our division. Take note, again, that the quotient is 1 degree lower than our divide dividend. And these numbers represent the numerical coefficient of our quotient. Therefore, the answer would be 4x cubed minus 4x squared plus 7x minus 7 plus 8 all over x plus 1. Thank you for watching Sir Ocknick's YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning! Thank you and God bless!